Breaking news now on a story that we've been tracking very, very closely. The former Mumbai police commissioner uh, outside whose residences a court order was pasted calling him a proclaimed offender. Uh, the breaking news that we have now is that sources are telling your channel that he may be in Chandigarh. Investigating agencies are keeping a close track on Parambir Singh. And we are hearing that he could make an appearance in front of the CBI. So that's the breaking news update and the appearance we are, we are hearing could be in the next few days. Let me go across to Yesha also joining us. Yesha, uh, we are hearing from sources that Parambir Singh could be in Chandigarh. We are also hearing that investigating agencies are keeping a close track on him and, uh, and, and that he could be appearing before the CBI after the court on Monday asked him to join the investigation. That's right, Niranjan. So now, uh, because we understand that his lawyers, that is, such a, that is, sorry, Parambir Singh's lawyers had stated before the Supreme Court yesterday that if required, Parambir Singh can appear before the CBI in the next 48 hours. Now, this is an important development that you're talking about that there's a possibility of him being in Chandigarh because yesterday it was his lawyers, in fact, who had said that Parambir Singh is still in the country. Now, this is because the Supreme Court had asked him to mention his exact locations as there were various speculations regarding where Parambir Singh was because he's been missing since the last 230 days to be precise wherein there were speculations by various political leaders saying that he might possibly be in Europe or Belgium but his um, lawyers in fact accepted that he's still in the country and now though the Supreme Court in its order has not asked him to appear within a particular span of time he's just been asked to cooperate with the investigation as and when required by various investigative agencies. In fact, let us also understand, Niranjan, that there are no cases against him at CBI, but it is the lawyers of Parambir Singh who are now stating that they want um, all these cases. In fact, Parambir Singh wants all the cases related to him to be transferred to the CBI. Now, the cases that we are referring to are the cases in Maharashtra, as well as let us understand the fact that there's, uh, there's also enforcement director who is trying to get a statement of uh, Parambir Singh recorded because they already have statements of Anil Deshmukh as well as that of Sachin Vaze. Apart from that, there's a possibility that NIU would also want to investigate him because the last when we had seen Parambir Singh was when he'd come in for the investigation at NIA, that is April 7th. So ever since then, he's been missing. But now there are various agencies because there are three non bailable warrants against Parambir Singh. Apart from that, there's also a proclamation application. Like you, like you already mentioned that there are two locations in Mumbai, one at Juhu as well as one at uh, Nilima where uh, the applications, that is the orders and notices have already been posted in order to ensure that Parambir Singh appears before them in the next 29 days because if he doesn't then he'd be declared an absconder as well as his properties would all be attached in this case. This is the Goregao case which is with Mumbai Police's crime branch currently and which is why uh, the fact that he's already accepted that he's in the country and would, uh, when would, and would be present with the investigating of uh, investigating authorities as and when required. There are slight chances of him appearing before the CBI because it is a demand and a request made by him itself that all his cases be transferred to the CBI. So, which is what we see that the lawyers would now, uh, there's a possibility that the lawyers would also ask Parambir Singh to be present in the next 48 hours because this is what has been mentioned by the lawyers on record in the court as well. Yes, Niranjan. Thank you for joining us with those inputs. Back to you, uh, back to you for now from the studios in the newsrooms in, De in Mumbai and, and, and also in Delhi we had some information this morning in fact that he could perhaps be in Chandigarh and investigating teams are keeping a close track on him. Possibility of him making an appearance before the CBI even though the CBI hasn't directly summoned him in the case. So very interesting developments keeping a close track on uh, everything that's happening in the case. Back to you for now.